Hi everybody, welcome back to another class of administrative law. Today in administrative law we are going to discuss a very important topic that is administrative tribunals. First of all definition, an administrative tribunal is an adjudicating authority other than a court created by a statute and vested with judicial powers. Yendana or administrative tribunal? It is an adjudicating authority. That means it is an agency created for the purpose of adjudication. Sadharana adjudication are another ordinary courts of law. So ordinary law of courts allata or adjudicating authority. Adenginiana Created by a statute and vested with judicial powers. Niematinal Nurmika Pete Judicial Powers Kodirikino. Court of Law Allade Niamatinal Nurmika Petadum Judicial Powers Kodka Patrikino Maitula Adjudicating Authorities Niana Administrative Tribunals in the Parayana. Clear? Once again the definition. An administrative tribunal is an adjudicating authority other than a court of law created by a statute and vested with judicial powers. Let's see the necessity of administrative tribunals. Number one, to relieve the congestion in courts. Courts lay tire to reduce the burden of the courts, courts in the Amida Joli Bharam Kurakiga. Number three, speedy disposal of the disputes relating to service matters, special cases. Ada either service matters like a speedy disposal or a puertiga. Idu Monu Mada, administrative tribunals in their main objectives. Now let's see the development of administrative tribunals in India. By the 42nd Constitutional Amendment of 1976, a new part that is part 14a included to our Indian constitution. In this part 14a, the parliament is enabled to set up administrative tribunals under article 323a and other tribunals under article 323b. Based on these articles, the parliament passed the Administrative Tribunal Act in 1985. Indian Constitution Day 42nd Amendment Pragaram, Ayatollah Edwati Arle 42nd Amendment Pragaram, Part 14A include Chedu, Part 14A, Article 323A deals with administrative tribunals and 323B deals with other tribunals. Parliament in administrative tribunals, Article 323A Pragarum, other tribunals, Article 323B Pragarum, establish a UN. Ulla power lebichu. Here and the article's name based on the parliament in 1985, the Administrative Tribunal Act Pasaki. Definition la namal padichayirinu. Administrative authority is created by a statute. So, in the ila, either case statutes on administrative tribunals in the establishment in a support chain of Yes, two statutes. That is Article 323A of our Indian Constitution and the Administrative Tribunal Act of 1985. This is the Administrative Tribunals in the establishment ne support the statutes. Composition of an Administrative Tribunal. An Administrative Tribunal include a Chairman, Vice Chairman, Judicial Minister, Technical Expert and Administrative Members. By examining this composition, we can say an administrative tribunal is partly administrative and partly judicial in nature. So, Namukar administrative tribunal ne fully judicial no fully administrative no parayam batilla, partly administrative, partly judicial aitumula authorities on administrative tribunals. Now, characteristics of an administrative tribunal. Number one, an administrative tribunal has statutory origin and established by the state. Number two, quasi-judicial in nature. An administrative tribunal has quasi-judicial nature. That means an administrative tribunal has features of court but not all. Court in the features under but all features mundo illa. That's why it is quasi-judicial in nature. Number three, performs judicial and quasi-judicial functions. Number four, 
an administrative tribunal is independent that is administrative tribunals are not subject to any administrative interference in the discharge of their judicial and quasi judicial functions so they are independent bodies Number five, the writs of certiorari and prohibition are available against the decisions of administrative tribunals. And number six, administrative tribunals are partly administrative and partly judicial bodies. Comparison between administrative tribunals and law of courts. Number one, law of court is a part of the traditional judicial system that is it is judicial in nature on the other hand administrative tribunal is an agency or administrative authority created by a statute and vested with judicial powers that means administrative tribunals are quasi judicial in nature number two the procedures in law of court are expensive slow complex and formal on the other hand administrative tribunals how less expensive rapid and flexible procedures which results in speedy disposal of the disputes that is speedy justice is available through administrative tribunals number three in law of court no expert panel for the disposal of technical problem but on the other hand in administrative tribunals yes there are experts in panel who can dispose technical problems effectively number four Law of court deals with civil and criminal cases, whereas administrative tribunals deal with special cases, for example, labor disputes, service matters, etc. Number five, law of court is bound by all the rules of evidence, so they decide the cases objectively. Administrative tribunals need not follow strict rules of evidence or CPC. that is they have wide discretionary capacity because of this wide discretionary capacity the administrative tribunals can decide the cases subjectively on the basis of departmental policy number 6 principles of precedence res judicata estoppel etc applicable to a law of court whereas the principles of precedence res judicata estoppel are not strictly applicable to administrative tribunals because of this administrative tribunals have power to revise their own decisions number 7 law of courts wait for the parties to the dispute to appear before them but the administrative tribunals can take preventive measures for example licensing rate fixing etc and by procedures like cancellation of license suspension etc idile rendu mudal ezhu variyulla points administrative tribunals inde advantages aanu allengil reasons for the growth aanu edakiyana the procedures in administrative tribunals are less expensive rapid and flexible adu kondu thanne speedy disposal of the disputes nadakkunu adu kondu thanne administrative tribunals vali speedy justice നമ്മൾക്ക് ലഭിക്കുന്നതാണ് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ് ട്രൈബ്യൂണൽസിന് അവരുടെ പാനലില് എക്സ്പേർട്സ് ഉണ്ട് ടെക്നിക്കൽ എക്സ്പേർട്സ് ഉണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ ടെക്നിക്കൽ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് വളരെ എഫക്റ്റീവായിട്ട് ഡിസ്പോസ് ചെയ്യുവാൻ കഴിയുന്നു സ്പെഷ്യൽ കേസസ് ഡീൽ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ് ട്രൈബ്യൂണൽസിന് സി പി എസ് സിയുടെയും എവിഡൻസിൻ്റെയും റൂൾസ് സ്ട്രിക്റ്റായിട്ട് ഫോളോ ചെയ്യേണ്ട കാര്യമില്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ അവർക്ക് വൈഡ് ഡിസ്ക്രിഷണറി ആയിട്ടുള്ള കപ്പാസിറ്റി ഉണ്ട് ഇത്തരത്തിലുള്ള ഡിസ്ക്രിഷണറി പവർ ഉള്ളത് കൊണ്ട് ഓരോ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റൽ പോളിസിക്ക് അനുസരിച്ച് ഡിസ്പ്യൂട്ട് റെസൊല്യൂഷൻ നടത്തുവാൻ അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ് ട്രൈബ്യൂണൽസിന് കഴിയുന്നുണ്ട് പ്രിൻസിപ്പിൾസ് ഓഫ് പ്രിസിഡൻസ് റെസ് ജുഡിക്കാറ്റ എസ്റ്റോപ്പൽ ഇവയൊന്നും അത്ര സ്ട്രിക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ് ട്രൈബ്യൂണൽസിൽ ആപ്ലിക്കബിൾ അല്ലാത്തത് കൊണ്ട് തന്നെ അവർക്ക് അവരുടെ തന്നെ ഡിസിഷൻസ് റിവൈസ് ചെയ്യുവാനുള്ള പവർ ഉണ്ട് പിന്നെയോ പ്രിവെന്റീവ് മെഷേഴ്സ് ലൈസൻസിങ് റേറ്റ് ഫിക്സിംഗ് പോലുള്ള മെഷേഴ്സ് എടുക്കാം അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ക്യാൻസലേഷൻ ഓഫ് ലൈസൻസ് സസ്പെൻഷൻ പോലുള്ള പ്രൊസീജിയേഴ്സ് നടത്തുവാനും അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ് ട്രൈബ്യൂണൽസിന് കഴിയുന്നുണ്ട് ഇതൊക്കെയാണ് റീസൺസ് ഫോർ ദ ഗ്രോത്ത് ഓർ അഡ്വാൻറ്റേജസ് നമ്പർ എയ്റ്റ് എ ലോ ഓഫ് കോട്ട് ഹാസ് പേഴ്സൺസ് ട്രെയിൻഡ് ഇൻ ലോ വേറാസ് ഇൻ എൻ അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേറ്റീവ് ട്രൈബ്യൂണൽ ദ പ്രിസൈഡിങ് ഓഫീസർ മേ ബി ലീഗലി ഇൻഎക്സ്പീരിയൻസ്ഡ് നോട്ട് ആൾ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ആർ ട്രെയിൻഡ് ഇൻ ലോ ഓർ നോട്ട് ആൾ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ആർ ഫ്രം ലീഗൽ ബാക്ക്ഗ്രൗണ്ട് because of this rules of natural justice may get violated number 
in law of court there is procedural uniformity whereas in administrative tribunals no procedural uniformity which leads to arbitrary and inconsistent decisions number 10 in a court of law judges are independent on the other hand the administrative tribunals are entirely in the hands of government 11 in a court of law a judge cannot decide a case in which he is interested so we can expect impartial decisions from a court of law but administrative tribunal may be a party to the dispute and decide it so partiality may arise in administrative tribunals decisions Yet to model Panan Variola points, administrative tribunals in the limitations are legal drawbacks on administrative tribunals. The presiding officer, a perim or you legally experienced that will all Aganamanilla. Administrative tribunals lay a la members of legal background in the Varnamanilla, Adagunda the Ne, Ela podium, natural justice in the rules one violate Cheya Pedilla and the Namukaparan Gadilla. Sometimes okay, natural justice violate Cheya Pudum. Pinio, administrative tribunals, led procedural uniformity, la, other than a decisions are arbitrary aguanum, inconsistent at all decisions, coduquanum, other than on the note on the Vetia Samula decisions, arbitrary at all decisions, administrative tribunals in the Bagatuna, on Daga Runde. Law of court, la, judges independent, anna, but administrative tribunals fully government in the Kailunde. Law of court la oriculum or judgina they have an interest to la or case la alingla deham party at or case poi consider chiyon karila pakshe administrative tribunal e dispute in the or party anangle polum atra ruler case decide chiyon karium adukonda ne administrative tribunals in the decision la partiality varivanula chance under idu nalumana idin de oru limitations alingle disadvantages. In the administrative tribunal, the justice is not the high courts. The approach is not the aggrieved person under Article 226 and 227 of the Indian Constitution. Examples for administrative tribunals Railway Rates Tribunal, Industrial Tribunal, Income Tax Tribunal, Copyright Board, Claims Tribunal, the Banking and Insurance Tribunal. These are the examples for administrative tribunals.